nine. We have ignition sequence start. What if your Martian home was waiting for you, calling your name 33 million miles away through the vacuum of space? Welcome home to Hexhab. Hexhab is a 3D printed shelter designed for long-term occupancy in extreme inhospitable environments. Hexhab is for humans to thrive, not just survive. Mission needs and domestic comforts are integrated into a holistic plan to ensure healthy acclimation to life on Mars. Touchdown confirmed. The exploration of Mars requires many interdisciplinary efforts. Any settlement program needs to be adaptive and robust to maximize resources and minimize risk. Safety is ensured from the sheer bulk of Hexhab's durable outer shell, created by Martian materials used to print the structure. Hexhab separates itself from the rest through integration and diverse user needs into the design for interior outfitting. Hexhab schematics are engineered to maximize functionality and aesthetics of your Martian research station as home. As a Hexhab client, you can be sure that your shelter is customized to realize your research goals. Hexhabs are designed for mission-specific accommodations. A crew of four can live comfortably for up to one year before being rotated out. Let's follow the construction sequence to arrive at a fully assembled structure. Martian regolith material is excavated, sorted, and processed for the printer. A trench for the foundation is dug. The regolith is piled near the production site. A separate section of icy regolith is collected nearby and sorted for its unique watery properties. Once the hole is deep enough for the printer and foundation, enough materials will have been produced to begin printing. Excess excavated regolith becomes backfill for the ground floor of the completed shelter. Advanced 3D printing technologies use Martian materials extracted from the ground and atmosphere. Water from the icy regolith is electrolyzed to produce oxygen and hydrogen. Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is broken down into carbon and oxygen. Carbon and hydrogen are combined to produce polyethylene, a plastic compound used as a binder in 3D printed material. Oxygen is stored for later use in life support systems and rocket fuel. Regolith is ground in a hammer mill to micron-sized particles and then added to the polyethylene. After the mixture is heated and extruded from the printer head, the material dries rigid. To increase thermal insulation, we print a honeycomb pattern within the wall. This produces air gaps that reduce the effect of thermal conductivity. The printed shell structure is then ready to be outfitted. The backfill provides surface level access to the second floor. Vehicular access to the first floor is provided by the sloped ramp created during excavation. The 3D printer is robotically relocated to the next construction site where construction resources are redirected. Outfitting of the hex hab begins upon construction crew arrival. Prefabricated floor panels, airlocks, and large bulk mechanical systems are transported by rovers to the unpressurized structure and inserted through the large openings on the first and second floor levels. Airlock hatches are inserted as the final bulk items before pressurization. Additional interior outfitting continues until all systems are prepared for habitation. The ground floor is an open layout, with equipment positioned at the perimeter. Collaboration areas and ample storage space is emphasized. Domestic life on Earth is remade on Mars, provided by efficient but spacious living quarters that includes kitchen, workstation, and other amenities. An elevator provides ease of access between floors. Crew quarters and living rooms are positioned on the third level, with individual compartments for the crew. Hexhab dwellers sleep easy knowing that safety was the primary design concern. In each crew compartment are large observation windows with radiation protective covers. Skylights made of a carbon nanotube high-density polyethylene composite material provide natural diffused lighting across the upper deck. A dome skylight emergency hatch provides natural lighting for the elevator shaft. 
Airlocks and suit ports are located for multi-level access in the event of an evacuation. Burying the structure provides additional radiation protection. Escape is possible on any level. An expandable ladder and emergency hatches provide secondary access between all levels. Each level has self-contained life support systems designed to run independently of the structure at large, both to improve efficiency and provide redundancy. Each floor is engineered to be isolated without compromising life support systems in the event of any necessary lockdown. HexHab's extensive design process maximizes the potential for successful habitation on Mars for decades to come. Our flexible and repeatable production process fueled by resources available on site provides for efficient expansion. As the process repeats and more HexHabs are constructed, a community is formed. So let HexHab be the first leap in human settlement of Mars. After all, we're here to stay. Welcome to the neighborhood.